what lies ahead for the narcissist. What do they have in store for them? What awaits them? Narcissists can be very grandiose. They can be very impressive and imposing in appearance and style. They can be arrogant and audacious. They can be very entitled. They can reveal an exaggerated sense of their own importance and abilities. Which leads them to believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. And when you first meet them, you may believe in this illusion. You may validate their false self. But as time goes by, you begin to realize that it's all a lie. They're not as great as they claim to be. They're just exaggerating. They're trying to impress you. Because not only does it get them what they want, but it also gives them supply. It makes them feel special and important. It makes them feel desirable and attractive. But this only works as long as people believe in the illusion. As long as people validate their false self. Once you stop believing in it, it all falls apart. They can no longer control you or make you do what they want. And they will immediately sense it. They will notice that you no longer believe in the illusion. They will notice that you no longer validate their false self. And that is when they will discard you. That is when they will no longer want anything to do with you. Because the narcissist does not want to live in reality. They only want the fantasy. They want to live in this imaginary world where they are everything they wish they could be. And when they leave you, this desire doesn't magically go away. They still want to be this larger than life character. They still want to have it all. But to manifest any of that, you first have to accept that you don't have it. While narcissists just want to be that right now, without putting in any of the work. They just want to fast forward to the part where they get reactions of admiration and desire from other people. Because there is no real meaning or purpose to anything they do. All they care about is how people respond to it. Which is why they can never be happy. Because they focus so much on other people's reactions. And although many people may fall for the illusion, as soon as one person doesn't, it hits them like a ton of bricks. It makes them forget about everyone who did support them. And then they just want to destroy that one person who didn't validate their false self, who didn't go along with their agenda. Because in that moment, it's like life or death for the narcissist. Their feelings about themselves don't come from within. Which means that they cannot experience true happiness. They can only experience emotions based on how they think other people think of them. Many YouTubers who talk about this may say that what lies ahead for the narcissist is nothing but difficulties and problems. 
and while there may be some truth to this, I would like to take it even deeper. There are times when it seems like the narcissist is happy. There are times when it seems like they're having a good time. But the truth is that none of it is even real. Because their experiences are not generated from within. They can't be generated from within. Because even they're not real. They created a false self which needs to be propped up by other people. So they experience life through the lens of how other people view them, rather than how they view themselves. Which means that they're not really living. They're operating on a very low consciousness they're not really experiencing life. What lies ahead for the narcissist? Narcissists experience conflict with almost everyone they deal with. There's always something that needs to be resolved. Nothing ever goes smoothly. They deceive everyone they meet. They lie to them. And at some point people figure them out. They realize what they're doing. And then they want nothing to do with them because they realize they've just been conned. They realize they've been taken advantage of and they don't want to be their fool anymore. They want to take back control over their own lives by no longer being involved with them. So as time goes by, people will abandon the narcissist. They won't want anything to do with them. The narcissist may go through a period of isolation they may be left alone or they may find an enabler. They may find someone who gives them the means to continue their behavior or this person may be too afraid to leave because that's usually what they end up with. People who don't really want to be around them but they're afraid to leave. They're afraid of what the narcissist might do if they try to escape. But the narcissist never really finds anyone who really loves or respects them. It's either people who are too afraid to leave or people who are just using them. People who just want them for money or sex. The narcissist created a false self because they wanted to feel valued and respected when that was the very thing that stopped them from ever receiving that because how can anyone ever value or respect a coin artist? Someone who lies to you. Someone who intentionally tries to deceive you. So in the end all they end up with are people who are too afraid to leave or people who are just as fake as them. Because anyone who really loves and values themselves is not, going, is not going to want to deal with them. They're not going to put themselves in a position to be disrespected. Because that's all the narcissist is going to do. They don't value themselves. So they cannot value you. Which is why the best thing you can do is just to leave them alone. Walk away and focus on your own life. I'm not going to say that all that lies ahead for the narcissist is misery and pain. 
Maybe there will be times where they actually feel like they're happy. But it isn't real. It's all a facade. It's an outward appearance that is maintained to conceal a less pleasant or credible reality. They're just doing everything they can to escape how they really feel. Which is actually the very thing that would set them free. Narcissists are broken damaged people who will do anything to appear whole and complete. When the irony is that the first step to them being that which they seek is to confront the fact that they are broken. If they would just do that, they would be fine. But they don't because it's too painful for them to deal with. They have too much pride and arrogance. They're too lazy. They don't want to do the work. And they don't think that they should have to. But because of that, it greatly affects what lies ahead for them. Because even if they think they're having a good time without you, it isn't even real. Their happiness is determined by how they think other people see them. It's not based on how they feel about themselves. Because they don't self-reflect or look within. They live from the outside in rather than the inside out. Which means that all they can experience are other people's realities. Which is why their identity is just a concoction of different people that they have seen in magazines or on TV. Because they're not really living. They're not really alive. They're just imitations. It's like a simulation of life. Because they're not connected to reality. Reality to a narcissist is like sunlight to a vampire. What lies ahead for the narcissist? What do they have in store for them? What awaits them? What lies ahead for the narcissist is similar to what they have already seen in their lives. More problems and difficulties, more stressful situations which, which they struggle to deal with. And while it may seem like there are moments of happiness or peace, it isn't real. A narcissist's idea of having fun is to make other people envious or jealous of them. That's what gives them satisfaction. Because they cannot experience anything they have directly. It doesn't do anything for them. They can only experience it vicariously for other people. Which is why they have to make you envious or jealous. They have to make you feel like you're missing out. Which then makes them feel like they have something. They look at it like, if you want it, then they must have something great. But they cannot experience that directly on their own. They can only experience happiness and satisfaction based on their real or imagined perceptions of other people's envy or jealousy. They live vicariously for other people. They live in a way that is experienced in their imagination through the feelings or actions of other people through imaginative or sympathetic participation in the experiences of them. Other people are merely mirrors. They reflect something back to the narcissist. Which is why there's never any real human connection. 
you never feel like you're understood by them. And you have difficulty understanding them. A person who is detached from self will be detached from other people. But they watch how other people interact and they mirror their behavior. That's how they create the illusion. But really, nothing good lies ahead for the narcissist. If it looks good, it isn't real. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.